in the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the sustainer and the nourisher of the whole universe. And the peace and prayers are due to his final prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, I have written a report concerning the protests in Sudan or the events nowadays in Sudan. Firstly, for the historical background about the events in Sudan, the first protests, protests took place on the 19th of December 2018 as a retaliation due to the poor economic condition of the country. Protesters, protesters were demanding a solution to everyday primary life necessities. So I mean the basic needs, such as bread, fuel, cash, and the general financial increase in all different kinds of products. It's important to our line that the previous regime which is led by the Muslim Brotherhood ideologies were responsible or was responsible for the tra tragic economic situation as a result of their filthy political behavior. A, the extreme need and suffering of the common citizens in Sudan led to the, to the opportunity for the different political misguided and misguided religious groups and partisanships who oppose the government. I mean the political parties and uh, the groups who were opposing the government before it resigned. The, these uh, political parties and groups uh, found the chance or the opportunity to accomplish their own agenda. So they began to raise their slogan of freedom, peace and justice. This happened during the last days of the previous regime. Several secularist political groups agreed together to form a single unity under the title Power of Freedom and Change association to lead the protests and direct the common people through the sit-in preaches and the social media. They took these two ways or means in order to control or direct the protest of uh, the common civilians in Sudan four or five months ago. On the 6th of April 2019, the protesting reached its peak, and the military forces at that time aided the civilians until the previous regime gave to the pressure, to the pressure of the uh, old Sudanese protesting uh, people. Um, they gave to the pressure and resigned. The military allowed them to gather in front of the, of the main military headquarters in Khartoum. From here on, the different political groups saw the way and the opportunity to disguise their own self-interests and political ideologies in order to misguide the common citizens. I mean, these uh, political groups took the chance of protesting in the child situation in Sudan and exploit these events in order to achieve and accomplish their own interests and their goals. It's important to highlight that the common citizens have different goals than the other political groups. The citizens were not calling and protesting in the name of secularism, communism, or non-Islamic government. This is a very important point that the protesters at that time were just calling for um, the basic needs 
the primary life needs but uh, there uh, there is no one of them was calling for a secularism communism or a non-islamic government i mean the common sudanese people i don't mean those who are not neutral i don't mean those who are affiliated to any of the political parties or the groups who were opposing or who had a, a different agenda than the common Sudanese people. Although they followed the way of protesting, even the protesters who were neutral, who uh, didn't affiliate to any of the um, political parties, they followed the way of protesting, which is not an Islamic way of change. They were just demanding, I mean, the, uh, the general or uh, the common protesters, not the political groups. They were just demanding for the needs pertaining to life necessities and social communal prosperity, as mentioned. The Transitional Military, Military Council promised the protesters to hand over the government to a civilian-led government that represents uh, this is a very important point the military council promised the protesters to hand over the government to submit the government to a civilian le government that represents all the common folk and achieves their demands at that time the Transitional Military Council refused to submit. Uh, at that time, the power of Freedom and Change Association, this group which is formed, as we mentioned, uh, refused uh, or insisted on gaining all power and governmental authority in spite of the fact that they do not represent a small percentage of the Sudanese people. As a result, the Transitional Military Council refused to submit to their greedy demands and the negotiation between the Transitional Military Council and the political groups came to a dead end. If the political groups took regard to the national interest of the country and accepted forming a neutral government, as the Transitional Military Council insisted, they could have come to a successful agreement that brings an end to the tragic situation and the expected disastrous condition. The secularists and communist leaders were hiding behind the necessity of the common people by per pretending that they wanted a civilian-led government until they thought that they had gained power. At the time that they thought they had gained power and have a good control upon the protesters, they uncovered their masks and began to make clear their true goals that they are against Islam. They started to speak frankly that they are against Islam and they also are against the morals of the common people in Sudan not only against Islam but also they are against the virtues the values the traditions that uh, Sudanese people inherited from their fathers and grandfathers which are the contents of the Sudanese identity. They want uh, to wipe out all Islamic laws and tradition, traditional traditions, uh, Sudan and the traditional Sudanese norms that do not accept indecency and indecent behaviors. In doing so, they made use of the hatred 
of the common folk to the Muslim Brotherhood. As uh, I mentioned so far, that uh, the previous government is led by the ideology of the Muslim Brothers who were so filthy, who were so bad that uh, these new forces and these new political groups made use of the hatred uh, the people uh, the hatred of the people to the Muslim brothers whose slogan was Islam and tried to convince the Sudanese that whoever calls for Islam is merely defending the previous corrupted regime. During the days of the sit-in in front of the military headquarters, the secularist and communist leaders started to show their true beliefs and view of a new Sudan. They dreamed of a Sudanese government that is completely free of Islamic religion and the common values of the people as well. Finally, when it became clear that they were opposing the most influential content of the Sudanese community, which is um, which is Islamic religion, the common folk differed and opposed them in this unaccepted ideology. This proved that all the Sudanese common people loved their religion and values in spite of the deceptive experience with the previous regime led by the Muslim brother I, as I have mentioned so far who raised the banner and the slogan of Islam while the religion of Islam is free of their actions and deeds. This leads us to conclude that the best solution for the situation is to choose neutral civilian government members that are Muslims, are not affiliated with any political groups or partisanships, whether they are rightist or leftist. Therefore, the best qualified leaders who represent the pe who represent the people of Sudan are those who are truthful, respectful, efficient, and decent, who strive to accomplish national interest rather than self-interest and hidden agendas. Lastly, we have not to forget to express our condolences and sorrow for the innocent lives lost in the child's that took place in Sudan in the previous months. We hope that justice will prevail and we ask our God Almighty Allah to have mercy on them. Here are some suggestions for the solution for the situation in Sudan. Number one, keeping close to God Almighty Allah and seeking his help and protection by taking care of the Islamic belief firstly, taking care of the Islamic belief in Allah as the only true God. This is called Tawheed, which denotes that Muslims should worship Allah alone and never associate any partners to Him. Should uh, single out Allah with any part of or sort of ibadah, worship. Dua, Salah, prayers, every kind of ibadah should be uh, associated to Allah. Number two, encouraging scientific researches in all fields of uh, researches and the national and also encouraging the national production, particularly in the main sources such as agriculture, industrial, commercial, and animal production. Number three, Referring to the law in settling disputes, I mean in solving problems arise between individuals and groups to avoid any kind of shouting events in the country. Number four, respecting the national military forces 
and aiding them to accomplish their functions in keeping the country secure and safe. These are some suggestions for the solution, and I ask my God Almighty Allah to help us, protect us, and save Sudan from any problems and from any uh, shout events. Uh, finally, I thank all the viewers who watch this video and also uh, I thank my brother Ammar who helped me in uh, arranging the ideas of this report. Uh, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.